Astronomers find evidence of sibling planets in shared orbit. A potential formation of two previously unseen planets may be occurring as debris clouds merge. Astronomers have observed potential formation of two planets in a single orbit. This phenomenon, hypothesized by theory, is absent in our solar system and has not yet been observed in other star systems. If verified, the existence of these planetary siblings might necessitate a reassessment of existing models of planet formation. Matthew Clement from the Carnegie Institution for Science, who was not part of the study, expresses his admiration, stating, it's impressive. He believes that with a few additional years of observations, they would have the certainty to confirm co-orbiting. David Kipping from Columbia University anticipates that the discovery of co-orbiting planets will revolutionize our comprehension of planet formation. Trojans, asteroids that co-orbit with planets in our solar system are abundant. Jupiter alone is accompanied by approximately 10,000 known asteroids, with the actual number potentially reaching millions. These Trojans assemble at Lagrange points, specific areas of the orbit where the gravitational forces from both Jupiter and the Sun maintain equilibrium. The primary locations for their congregation are 60 degree ahead and 60 degree behind Jupiter in its orbit. In the study of celestial bodies, researchers have proposed that one of the Lagrange points of a developing planet could function as an attractive force for another planet, facilitating its rapid growth by pulling in surrounding dust. As there are no such co-orbital pairs observed in relation to the Sun, a group of astronomers embarked on a search for similar phenomena around distant stars in 2018. Given the challenges of directly observing exoplanets, the team employed indirect methods to identify them, including the detection of telltale signs such as the star's gravitational wobble caused by planetary interaction and the temporary dimming of the star's brightness when a planet passes in front of it. The presence of two consistent wobbles or dips in brightness could indicate the existence of co-orbital planets. However, the researchers, led by Olga Balsalobra Ruza from the Center for Astrobiology in Madrid, did not find any evidence supporting this hypothesis. Unfazed, they shifted their approach and opted to examine a nascent solar system in order to detect any signs of a protoplanet accumulating matter at its Lagrange points. Their focus was on PDS-70, a youthful star situated 370 light-years away from Earth, known to harbor two protoplanets in distinct orbits. Utilizing the Atacama Millimeter Submillimeter Array, ALMA, a massive radio array situated in Chile, they captured an image of a dust disk encircling PDS-70, which unveiled noticeable gaps within the disk. Astronomers assert that the most prominent gap was formed by the combined efforts of the two protoplanets, PDS-70b and PDS-70c, as they absorbed dust during their growth process. In their research, Balsalobre Ruza and her team analyzed ALMA data from 2015 to 2018. By manipulating the data, they observed a dust clump in the orbit of PDS-70b, precisely at one of its Lagrange points. This discovery has been reported in astronomy and astrophysics. ALMA detects millimeter-sized dust, not planets. Balsalobre Ruza states that all they can ascertain is the presence of debris. However, the team approximates that the dust cluster might encompass the mass equivalent to two moons, and it could encircle a fully developed protoplanet acting as a companion to PDS-70b. According to Kipping, the data falls just short of confirming a discovery. He describes it as almost interesting but not entirely convincing. Balsalobra Ruza agrees that there is a possibility of it being noise, but she believes that is highly unlikely. She explains that they analyzed the data using various methods and the presence of the cloud was consistently observed. The definitive confirmation would come from observing PDS-70b and its dusty companion in the future to determine if they move in sync. Confirmation of this finding, according to Clement, could significantly impact evolutionary models of the solar system. The prevailing belief among theorists is that Jupiter acquired its Trojans from the far reaches of the solar system during its early years, when it ventured close to the Sun before retreating once more. It is believed that this migration disrupted the orbits of Kuiper Belt objects, small celestial bodies beyond Neptune, causing them to come within proximity of Jupiter and be ensnared. However, 
If the Trojans were actually formed in situ at Jupiter's Lagrange point, they would consist of the same original material as their larger counterpart, thereby offering invaluable insights to planetary scientists. In 2021, NASA launched a probe named Lucy. This probe is scheduled to explore six Jupiter Trojans starting in 2027. The purpose of Lucy is to examine the similarities between these Trojans and Kuiper Belt objects. According to Clement, the objective of Lucy is to establish a connection. If some of the Trojans resemble Jupiter instead, the paper may gain significant recognition. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.